Ranger. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Hyo Silver! Away! With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. I come from Louisiana with my banjo on my knee. It rained all day the night I left. The weather, it was dry. I... What in tarnation? Whoa! Who there? Whoa. Please! Whoa! Please, mister! What's the matter, Buttons? Father's hurt. An accident? A snake frightened our horse. I think father's hurt bad. Ooh, Well, let's have a look at him. All right, Jake, let's get after that gold shipment. Nice going, Leela. What did you expect? Come on, Seth. We've got work to do. He's so nervous about I'm guard, ain't I? Some of those other stages had guards, too. Yeah, but they wasn't Trig Davis. Driver! Driver! Help! Driver! Stop! Whoa! What's eating her? I'd better find out. Whoa! Oh, boy. They're slowing up now. That's perfect. As Lena would say, what did you expect? Get ready. What's your trouble, ma'am? I feel faint. The motion of the coach, I, I... Oh, well, now, just a minute. I'll take care of you. Uh, what the... We've done it again. You should be used to it by now. Get the gold. Are they both dead? Mine is. How about yours, Jake? Dead as they make them. Here's the box. Good. Load it into the wagon. I'll wipe out footprints and send on the stage. Tonto, look. Come on. Last month. And each town with a gold shipment from the mines in Placerville. If this keeps up, every settler in the territory will suffer. We've got to put a stop to it somehow. Why God? If we backtrack, we'll probably find them. We've killed every witness so far. Come on. Put on brake here. This must be the place. And then cover up prints. Yes, if it weren't for those skid marks, you wouldn't know this was the spot. Uh, we ride in big circle, maybe pick up trail. Good idea, Tonto. We'll. Mm. Mm. Trig Davis. Can you hear me, Trig? Try to speak. Who did this? 
Uh, oh, oh, lady. An old lady shot you? Uh, yeah. She, uh, uh, Him killed by old lady? Trig was too fast in the draw to be killed like this, unless it was someone he trusted. It could have been an old lady. It's hard to believe old lady ride with a gang of killers. There's a great deal about this that's hard to believe. What do we do? You drive the stage back to Placerville with the bodies and report this to the sheriff. I'll scout around as you suggested and try and pick up a trail. And where will we meet? Wait for me in the sheriff's office. I want to talk to him myself. This isn't a holdup. Wouldn't do no good if it was. We ain't got nothing you'd want. All I want is some information. Well, from where I hail from, a man don't hide his face just to ask questions. Now, don't rile him, Paul. I'm used to it, ma'am. I'm looking for the outlaws who robbed the stage a short while ago. Did you see any sign of them? Stage? Why, it went past here like scared rabbit five minutes ago. It's returning with the bodies of the men who were killed in the holdup. There was a killer? Yes. You must have been nearby. Did you hear any shots? He don't talk like no bandit, Paul. Now, look here, mister. Ma and me are headed for Amarillo to see the young ones. And we don't want to get mixed up with nothing that's going to hinder us. You won't be delayed. But did you see anything? Kill him, Paul. Well... Back a piece, when I stopped to water the horses, why, I saw three galoots heading for the ridge. Maybe they're the ones you're after. I'll know after I catch up with them. Adios, and thanks a lot. You think you went for it? Why shouldn't he? You should have signaled for me to plug him. Why? Well, we'd have been rid of him. What do you think we just did? Get up, Tab! Sheriff. Hello, Sheriff. Another holdup? Yeah, driver and guard dead. Them inside coach. Lefty got the corner. Tell Jones to start rounding up a posse. Come on. What happened? We find driver dead in stage. Where was this? Near Granite Pass. Go on. And we no see guard. We backpack stage. Find guard beside road. Yeah, dead, huh? No clue, no trail, no nothing. And before God die, him say... Before? You mean he told you something? Uh, well, what was it? Come on, what did he say? Him say, him shot by old lady. What? That's what him say. Oh, that don't make sense. No woman could outgun Trick Davis. You wait, my friend come, him tell you same thing. Your friend? Who's your friend and what were you two doing there? Suppose you start all over again, huh? It still don't make sense. I ought to be out with my posse instead of wasting time like this. When's your friend gonna show up? You not worry, him come. Yeah, well, he better, and he's gonna have to talk fast to convince me that any old lady killed Trick Davis. True, Sheriff. It was an old lady. Him no believe, Kim Sabe. The Indian claims you're on the side of the law. Who are you? I wouldn't wear this mask if I wanted to answer that question. But I can tell you who's behind these holdups and killings. Yeah, an old lady who vanishes into thin air. You didn't know where to look for her trail. The gang uses a wagon. A wagon? That's right, Sheriff. I circled the area in the vicinity of the last holdup. I was looking for hoof prints of the killer's horse. All I found were wagon tracks. After a while, I found the wagon itself. An old couple were driving it. 
Me passed them on way here. Them not look like they belong to a hold-up gang. No, but they felt it necessary to lie about seeing the outlaws ride toward the ridge. I just searched there. Nobody's been over that ground for a long time. You're on the side of the law. Why didn't you bring them in? I figured someone had me covered from inside the wagon. So I thought it wiser to trail them. You know where they are? Yes. They operate from a big white house on the edge of town. I couldn't get too close. There's no cover. Wait a minute. Are there a couple of iron deer by the driveway? That's right. You're crazy. That's the Anson place. They wouldn't be mixed up with outlaws. Outlaws often appear respectable. The Ansons are friends of mine. In fact, Miss Anson and I are getting married. I see. And she's in danger from those people in the wagon. Say, that's right. I better get out there. We'll go with you, Sheriff. The wagon's not here. Perhaps it's gone on. How do you wait here in case there's trouble? Uh -huh. How long have the Ansons lived here in Placerville? All about six months. I wonder why they don't answer. Perhaps we'd better go around the back. Jake, is everything all right? Oh, of course everything's all. What's going on? Who's this? Oh, he's all right. I can vouch for him, I think. Well, come on in, both of you. Thank you. This is Jacob Anson, Linda's brother. How do you do? Sorry to intrude like this, Mr. Anson. Not at all. What's this all about, John? There's been another holdup. Another one? Covered wagon was mixed up in it. One was seen coming here. We figured maybe you could tell A us... A wagon? Well, I've been out, but perhaps Leela knows something about it. I'll go get her. I wasn't expecting you until this evening, John. Leela, darling, there's been another holdup. Oh, how dreadful. John, you've caught one of them. Oh, no, he's no outlaw. This gentleman's helping me. May I present Miss Anson? How do you do? But that mask. It's not the mask of a criminal. They're asking about a wagon stopping here. A wagon did stop, but I don't understand how... The people in that wagon were involved in the holdup, Miss Anson. That sweet old couple? You must be mistaken. Do wagons often stop here? Well, yes, we're on the main road. People ask for directions, water, even food. Poor things, they're so exhausted, so determined to go on. Leela would give away everything we own if Dad would let her. Well, the old couple today just wanted water. I'm sure you're wrong about them. I'd like to investigate before admitting it. When did they leave? Over an hour ago. And we'd better hurry. I'm afraid we weren't much help. Well, thanks anyway. Goodbye. I'll see you tonight, Lila. John, those people weren't outlaws. I don't trust that masked man. I don't either, darling. Bye, Mr. Anson. Goodbye. Goodbye, John. You were a fool to come in. He might have recognized you. I'm an actress, remember? Who's that Indian? I don't know. Has Seth had time to get rid of the wagon? If he did what I told him. Well, it was a close shave, Lila. That masked man isn't stupid. Relax. With a hick sheriff eating out of my hand, I'm not afraid of anybody in a mask. You're not coming with us? I've wasted enough time on this wild goose chase. I belong with my posse. Well, suit yourself, Sheriff. Tyler and I are going after that wagon. We'll let you know what we find out. I don't think you'll find anything, but go ahead. Him not trust you? He'd trust me less if I told him Leela Anson was a liar. Her tell a lie? She pretended those people in the wagon were strangers. The dog that barked at us a few minutes ago didn't bark at the wagon when it drove up this morning. A man in love want more proof than that. I know, Tonto. That's why we're going to trail the wagon. Come on. That masked man. I just saw him and that Indian riding away. I know. They're after the wagon. Well, they won't find it. I drove it way up and past the creek. That's still too close. I'm for pulling out. No. Even if he does find it, it doesn't prove anything. We're making one last haul. It's too risky. Why? He doesn't suspect us. When that lovesick sheriff tells me about the next gold shipment, we're going after it. This is it, Tuttle. 
same wagon I saw this morning. How will we make Sheriff believe girl belong to a hold-up gang? I'm afraid we can't. A young friend is too much in love. I'll have to try to convince him in another way. And what do you want me to do? You wait outside the Anson house. If you get a chance, get inside and look for that gold. But be careful. You mean be careful. Where you go? Back to the sheriff. Just persuade him to set a trap for his own fiance. Let's go. Come in. Did you find the wagon? Yes, up near the creek. But that still doesn't prove anything against Leela and her family. No, it doesn't. I thought you weren't interested in the wagon. Well, that was before I found wagon tracks near the scene of the holdup. I just went back there. And I owe you an apology, mister. You were telling the truth, all right. Now, perhaps you'll trust me. These raids on vital gold shipments must be stopped. I've done everything I can. But they still know when the shipments are sent and how they're guarded. Too many people have known. Why not take the gold shipment through yourself? Secretly. Alone? Yes. Don't tell anyone. Not even the mine owners themselves. It's pretty risky. Not if you keep this secret enough. You can make all the arrangements in advance, except for the time and method of shipment. I'll have to think about it. You still don't trust me completely, do you? No offense intended, mister, but I haven't known you long enough. Whatever plan of action I decide on, I'll keep strictly to myself. Well, have it your own way. I'll be around if you need me. Adios. King Sonny. Have you had a chance to search the house? Me still watching, but them stay home. Sheriff there now. I know. I'm sticking close to him. Him agree to set trap? I'm not sure. He didn't trust me enough to let me know. That's why I'm trailing him, to see what he'll do. If him keep plan secret, how will that make trap? You underestimate Leela, Tato. But John, if you can't take me to Harriet's picnic tomorrow, you must have a reason. Well, it's business, Leela. I, I can't talk about it. Oh, John. Oh, Leela, honey. <laughs> Don't. I'm sorry. But I, I thought you trusted me. Oh, I do, Leela. I do trust you. I just don't want you to worry, that's all. Worry? Then it's something dangerous? Well, in a way. John, don't shut me out of that part of your life. We must share things. The good along with the bad. That's what love means. Oh, I don't want to shut you out. Besides, if you don't tell me things about your job, I'll worry all the time. Well, it's, it's really nothing. I, I'm going to drive a gold shipment myself. I figure by doing it that way, I might... Well, Leela, did you break him down? It wasn't half as hard as getting rid of him afterward. Give me a cigarette. What did you learn? He's driving a shipment by himself, tomorrow afternoon. Perfect. What about that Indian I saw hanging around in back? If he's still around tomorrow, we'll take care of him. Did you muzzle the dog? Yeah. Good. I want the Indian to have a clear field. up, Indian. Walked right into our trap, didn't you? I mean, not steal me, just look. Go to work on him. Tie him up. He's going to be found by the stage with one of the sheriff's bullets in him. What'll that prove? That he and his mass pal have been staging these holdups. We'll take care of this. You start putting on your makeup. You've got plenty to do before the stage leaves.
are mostly killed. Oh, 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 there boy. Oh, that's a big idea. I thought you were on my side. I am. Since you wouldn't trust me, this is the only way I could protect you. Protect me from what? The killers who have been pulling these holdups. My Indian friend and I found enough clues to establish their identity. What makes you think they'll attack me? I think they know your plan. They don't know I'm with you. Take this. Get him out of sight. We'll finish him off when we get the sheriff's gun. Here it comes, Jake. Hurry. What's happening? Oh, Colin hurt. Take it easy, kid. A snake frightened our horse. I think Colin hurt bad. Perhaps he's just knocked out. Turn around, John, dear. Leela. Yeah, you dumb hayseed, Leela. Cut it short, Leela. Put him out of his misery. But I, I don't understand. Don't try to understand anything. Just say goodbye. Oh! Don't reach, Jake. The masked man. That's right, Leela. Now tell the rest of your men to come out with their hands up if they don't want you to get hurt. They'll get you before you can shoot. I wouldn't count on that. John, take care of her. Now tell them to surrender. Going, John. Now tie them up. You can relax, Leela. You're all through. Well, now that the rest of the gold has been found at the Anson place, we'll be on our way. Well, I... I certainly tried to make a fool of myself. It's not first time evil woman tried to make fool out of good man. Tyler's right, Sheriff. Don't reproach yourself. The criminals have been brought to justice. That's the important thing. You also brought me to my senses. I don't know how to thank you. Don't try. Come on, Tom. Adios. Bye. Well, you outsmarted yourself, Leela. It was easy to make a fool out of me, but you shouldn't have tried it on him. Nobody makes a fool of that masked man. He's the Lone Ranger. Be with the Lone Ranger and Tonto same time next week for new dangers in another thrill-packed adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again. with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Hayo Silver! Away! With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. 
All right, boys, I've been planning this bank job in Cloverdale for over three weeks, and I don't want nothing to slip up. You hear me, Joe? I'll take care of my end of the job. You know what Cloverdale's got a wide awake sheriff? We make one false step, and he'll outsmart us. I think this time we'll be outsmarting him. Cheyenne and me will do the bank job alone like we planned. And the sheriff won't be counting on us getting any help from you two fellas later on. Now, you sure you know what you're going to do? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cleet head for that water hole at Buzzard's Bath. We leave the blasting powder there and then head on across the Badlands to that shack at Indian Forks and wait for you. With fresh horses and plenty of fresh water. Don't forget that. It's important. Those Badlands are pretty well dried up this time of the year. Why don't you quit worrying? We've been over this with you a hundred times before. And when you get there, take turns keeping a constant lookout until we arrive. Now get going. Getting kind of nervous, ain't you? One of these days, my friend, you're going to talk out of turn once too often. I don't think so, pal. Just take it easy yourself. See you at Indian Forks. Don't mind him, Yuma. We're all nervous till this thing's over with. We get our hands in that bank money, we can relax. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe you're right. I guess I just got itchy fingers. Come on, let's tackle that bank. Tyler, you must have learned something important to be riding so fast on such a hot day. Plenty important, Kimasabi. Me learned from telegraph operator in town about Yuma Kid. Him and other men hold up bank in Cloverdale an hour ago. Kill three men and steal $40,000. Cloverdale's a long ride from here. It's on the far side of the Badlands. That's right. At last, we're on the heels of Yuma. It's taken time, but... Wait a minute. Yuma always works with four or five men. You say just he and one man robbed the bank? Ah, uh, what do you figure? I don't know. Perhaps he's meeting the rest of the gang somewhere else. Maybe. Yes, but where? An ordinary crook would be afraid to cross the Badlands in this heat. But the Yuma kid might risk it. It's the shortest way to the Mexican border. Not likely, Kimasabi. He'll need plenty of water, fresh horses for a trip like that. There's a water hole at Buzzard Bath. He could be headed there. Do you know if the sheriff is on his trail? Ah, uh, him and two deputy. We might still be of help. I only hope the water supply we have will get us through the Buzzard Bath. It's a long ride. We try. Come on. over there, Cheyenne, buzzard bath, and $40,000 in our kicks. Well, we made it. Both ways, Yuma, just like you said. I'll bet the sheriff and his posse are less than an hour behind. We gotta work fast. You water the horses and fill the water bags, and I'll get this keg of blasting powder that Joe and Cleet buried for us. You really had this figure, didn't you? Go on, go on, get going. We ain't got that much time. Deep enough for you? Yeah. When this powder goes off, it's going to be goodbye water hole, and the sheriff and his boys are going to be mighty thirsty. Well, I hope you're right. I don't see how a blast will dry up this sump hole. How do you think it holds rainwater? There's no spring under it. It's just a layer of soapstone. Soapstone? Sure. The water's held with a regular basin, but it'll go down plenty fast when that blast goes off. You mean the blast will bust the soapstone? It'll crack it wide open, and the water will pour out the crack. Now, you get the horses out of here before I light this fuse. That's far enough. They're out of range. Hurry, Yuma! Run! Well, Cheyenne, that takes care of the sheriff and his posse. 
In this heat and without any water, they won't dare follow us any further into the Badlands. If they do, the buzzers will be pecking at them before they can start. Let's shove off for Indian Forks. The boys will be waiting. Think these dogs will get us there? We about run them out. Sure, they'll get us there. And what if we do kill them? We got fresh ones waiting for us. Just beyond those rocks. And me, plenty thirsty. Watch yourself, Tuttle. You and kid in this gang may be in hiding. Uh, you and a kid not here, Kimasabi. I must have been mistaken. Unless they've already been here and gone. Uh, maybe Sheriff get them. Yes, that's possible. Tuttle, something's happened to the water hole. Kimisabe, no water that bad. But fresh tracks, plenty of them. Two different types of shoes. The Yuma kid didn't meet the rest of his gang here as I expected. But why him blast water hole? That shows his cunning, Tuttle. He must have known there was a posse on his trail. He's hoping their water supply has run low. The posse can't follow any more than we can. That's right, we have no water. Horses plenty thirsty. We die out here, Kimisabe, without water. That's what Yuma was figuring for anyone who tried to follow his trail. It also explains why there was only one man with him instead of his whole gang. Uh, how you figure? Two can travel fast if they know fresh horses and water are waiting somewhere else. Me see now. Rest of gang wait somewhere ahead. Take care of that for him. Right. What we do? We'll wait for the posse from Cloverdale. I have a plan I think will catch the Yuma kid. That is, if the sheriff has enough water for our horses. And what's your plan? Tonto, look out there. Horsemen ride this way. Must be the sheriff and his posse. I see the two of them, men. If they move, shoot. Hey, sheriff, they're not the horses they rode out of town. You're right, they ain't. They must be a couple of the Yuma kids' gang. Well, watch yourselves. Come on. hands and keep them there. We're not outlaws. If you think we're part of the Yuma Kids gang, forget it. We're here to help. I'll bet. But I never saw a man yet that wears a mask that helped the law any. You don't think we'd be waiting here without guns drawn if we weren't on your side? That argument ain't good enough, mister. When you're out looking for bank bandits, they could be up to any old trick. Even you could be the Yuma Kid. Take off that mask. You're wasting your time, Sheriff. The Yuma Kid's already been here. And unless you've brought plenty of water, we've all ridden into the, his trap. What do you mean? Well, the water hole is dry. There's not even enough water to get us to Cloverdale or anywhere else. We'll die out here. That's right. The Yuma Kid set off a blast of powder that cracked the base rock. The water seeped through. Why, that dirty, sneaking coyote. Huh, Double-crossed you, eh? Even one of his own gang. Look, Sheriff, I have a plan to catch the Yuma kid. We haven't time to argue. Have you any water at all? Maybe a little. But you've got a plan, eh? I'll bet you have. But whether we die out here or not, take off that mask. I know the Yuma kid's gang. Let's see where you fit. Sorry I had to do that, Sheriff. But no one takes off my mask. I'll not get their guns and see how much water they have. Oh, you're not outlaws, huh? No, I'm not. As long as we can't convince you. My Indian friend and I must take matters into our own hands. Why are you sneaking, rat? Water bags, Kimisabe. Fill our canteens and give Silver and Scout what they need. Leave the rest for the sheriff and his men. Say, what's the idea? What, your leaving ain't going to do any good? It'll last a half a day, Sheriff. I think you'll manage. We'll return with water for you. I don't get you. My plan to turn the tables on the Yuma kid depends on Tonto and me. 
We must leave you behind. Say, maybe you are on the level. I don't know whether you mean that or not, Sheriff, but I can't take the chance of giving you back your guns yet. Already, Kimasabi. We'll leave your guns a hundred yards out. I know you can't follow us. You haven't much water. But trust us to return. Well, you're not leaving us much choice, are you? Over there, Kimisabi. We see him now, behind rocks. We'd better take a look. Nobody's following us, Yuma. Let's take a rest. Maybe you're right. These nags are about dead. We'd better give them some water. I ain't hankering to walk the rest of the way. Sure, we can take a few minutes. Horses, Kimasami. We go get him now? Not yet, Taro. Catching Yuma and his friend isn't enough. Who's ever left in the gang must be caught also. That's right. Even one at large lead to more trouble later on. There's one way to find his hideout and the rest of his gang. How that? Join Yuma and his friend. They'll take us there. But you can't wear a mask. Correct. I'll change to a disguise. Hurry, get the things out of my saddlebag. You know, Cheyenne? I bet that sheriff's kind of dry by now. If he ain't, he will be mighty soon. Hey, Yuma. What's the matter? Over there, two men riding our trail. Yeah. One of them's an Indian, and that guy on the white horse looks like an old man. Will you make of it? I don't know yet, but we'll soon find out. Keep him covered, and let him ride up. Howdy, Gent! Howdy! All right, never mind the talk. What's the idea of riding our trail? Uh, hold on, mister. You can put up them guns. Just me and my partner here looking for water. Some crazy critter blue buzzard bass sky high. We've been dry nigh on five hours. Oh, you have, huh? Well, you can keep moving. We're not likely to do any gunplay, mister. We're just looking for water. See, you got some. Yes, and we're keeping it. Well, you ain't gonna let a man die now, are you? We're all equal out here. I'd share with you. Well, you would, would you? I think he's balmy, Yuma. Maybe. You say you were at Buzzard Bath, huh? Alone? When we got there, we were. Then we saw some horsemen riding up. Figured they might be bandits. Trying to find out what I know. You not tell secrets. What are you talking about? What kind of secrets you guys got that bandits would want to know? I said, what kind of secrets? I think we can tell them. They look honest enough. Maybe right. Sure, sure. What do you think we are, thieves? Oh, no offense, mister. Just that a man tries to be careful who he talks to. All I say is, if we don't get out of this predicament, all the gold we found won't do us any good know-how. What gold? Gold, yonder over them hills. All a man can dig. Never seed such a find. How come a fellow like you has got a fine horse like that? He's a beauty, isn't he? All I've kept these years, living from hand to mouth, never traded him in. He's my life, mister. Give him some water, Cheyenne. Where's this gold find, mister? Oh, I don't look that local now, do I? Why should I tell you anything more? What you got that's valuable enough to make it worth my while? If you want to live and get back to that gold, you're gonna need water. A lot more than you got here, mister. That's right. Don't get your proposition. Enough water to keep you alive for a half share in that gold you found. Uh, where is this water? We'll have to lead you to it. 
Uh, let me talk it over with my Indian friend. He's my partner, too. That's fair enough. Come on, Indian. What you figuring, Yuma? This is like shooting fish in a barrel. When he finds out how much water we got at Indian Forks, he'll do plenty of talking. You going in with him? No longer than it takes him to give us the location of that gold mine. Oh, I get you. We'll sort of humor him along a bit. Hey, mister. Well, my friend says it's all right. But we don't do no talking till we see that water you're offering. Well, we better get going. You lead off. We're heading south. Whatever you say. How lucky can a guy get, Cheyenne? If you fell in a well, you'd come up with a bucket of diamonds. <laughs> Wait till the boys hear this. <laughs> I don't mind winning, Joe, but you're supposed to be on lookout. In that hot sun, you think I'm crazy? Well, I took it for two hours. You're no better than me. You must have to stand lookout. He's not telling me what to do. We've got the water and the horses waiting for him, haven't we? Now, and you better stop drinking it all. How long do you think it's going to last? There's plenty more in back. Stop being an old woman. You're getting as bad as Yuma. What's the matter with you? I wonder why he hasn't showed up yet. Who cares? Let him sweat it out in that sun. I don't trust him anyway. Wouldn't surprise me if he double-crossed us and never showed up. Go on, deal. Well, how you doing, friend? Kind of took it out a little. Sure could use some water. Won't be long now, just over that ridge. Hey, Joe, that's you my signal. What you shooting for? Just let them know I'm coming. Oh, I see. How many uh, men do you have? Just one, Pop. Just one, that's all. You're only going to have to split that gold two ways, so stop worrying. <laughs> well, just wanted to know. Just wanted to know how many men you had, that's all. Well, let's get going. Well, there's four of them coming. I wonder what kind of trick he was up to now. I told you he should have stood lookout. The sheriff's posse probably grabbed him and he talked. Maybe. He's rat enough. Will he give us the signal? Quit trying to figure it and go on out and meet him. What about you? I'll slip out the back way to where the horses are hidden. I want to see what happens before I show my face. Just keep your mouth shut. Don't worry. Cleet wants you to meet some friends of mine. We got a deal cooking. Did you take care of that water like I said? Yeah, we sure did. Okay, Pop. Let's see to my end of the bargain, and then we'll talk business. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> yes, sir. Mighty inviting. Well, there it is. You mean that's all the water you have? Hey, what's this all about? Did you take care of the bank? Shut up. It's already taken care of. Where's the rest of the water? Right outside, stacked against the shack. Satisfied, Pop? <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of it. Plenty of water out there. Go on, help yourself. Yeah, thank you. Everybody's going to be friends. The old man here has got a gold mine, and we're going to cut in on it, Cleet. Gold? You said it. Well, here's to you. Sure tasted good, didn't it? How are you there, mister? Well, let's talk, partner. All right, Yuma. Let's talk. Tato, get their guns. Over against that wall. He ain't no old man, Yuma. What's this about a gold mine? It's part of a plan to get you to lead us here. You're through, Yuma. You and your men. What kind of double cross you handing us? You ain't the law. The law don't work this way. That's right, we're not the law. But we're placing you in our hands. The bank money you stole is going back where it belongs. Wait a minute, stranger. Who are you? Take off that disguise. Tunnel, get the ropes off our saddles. We get plenty of rope, Kimisame. Wait a minute, Indian. 
I'll make a deal with you. I got $40,000 out in my saddlebags. Save your breath, Yuma. Tano, get the ropes. Stay where you are, engine. Both of you, drop the guns. I'm kind of disappointed in you, Yuma. I figured you might double-cross us someday. But I never figured you'd be outsmarted by an old coot and an engine. You'd have done just what I did. Maybe, maybe not. This ought to earn me an extra bonus. I wondered if you could be as simple as you look. That's why I had this extra ace up my sleeve in case you pulled something. Don't count on your aces, Yuma. No. I'm mighty curious to see what you really look like. Maybe if you're not so handsome under this disguise, we'll bury you with a beard. Oh! oh. What's happened to him? Oh. 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 Me think me die. Water poison, maybe. Me remember now. Water tastes funny. Water poison. Oh. What's he talking about? Stay where you are. Nobody poisoned any water. I don't know, Yuma. I, I feel kind of funny. Somebody could have poisoned it since five minutes ago. You guys have been drinking. I did my drinking before you got here. What are you getting at? Who drank out of this water since these two new guys got here? We all did. You drank first. So it was you, you low-down skunk. You poisoned the water after you took a slug so you could get everything. You're crazy. I ain't so crazy. You figured to take care of me after Cheyenne and Cleet were out of the way. These two were easy. Why, you? <laughs> Hey, what's this all about? You're not going to die from poison water if that's what's worrying you. Water, not poison. Tato gave you the idea, and you let your imagination do the rest. Me get your sign, Kimasabi. Me understand. Poison water trick, good idea. Now we'll tie these men up. Me get rope for sure this time, Kimasabi. Well, I'll be hog switched. Look at them horses coming up. By golly, Sam. It's the masked man and his Indian friend. And he's got those two critters we've been after. Huh. I recognize the horses. I reckon we got a lot of apologizing to do, stranger. You done a mighty fine job right down the line. I think you can manage from here on. We brought along enough water to get you back to Cloverdale. And the folks won't forget that $40,000 you saved them either. But I want you to know how grateful we all are to you for everything you've done. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, Tano and I must be on our way. Adios. Ain't you gonna ask him his name, Sheriff? There ain't no use wasting a man's time like that. I know who he is. I should have known all along. A white horse and a black mask and a man that always keeps his word? Huh. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Be with the Lone Ranger and Tonto same time next week for new dangers in another thrill-packed adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again. with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Hayo Silver, away! 
with his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. Pete Carson, you had a fair trial and been found guilty of murder in the first degree. I'd murder you if I could. Anything you want to say before we drop the trap? My pals will pay you back for this. And that masked man that got me, he'll pay too. He'll die worse than I will. Trigger Taylor will kill the Lone Ranger. Trigger Taylor? Nobody's seen him in over a year now. That don't mean he's not around. You'll be hearing from him. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Well, Tunnel, Carson's paid his debt. Good. But rest of gang still live. That's not good. Trigger Taylor hasn't been seen since Carson's arrest. But I doubt if he'll be quiet now. Plenty bad nobody know what him look like. We'll know him by what he does. What do you think him do? I think he'll try to avenge the execution of Carson. He was last heard from in this territory. He may make his next move here. And that's why we come here? Yes, Tonto. The town of Colson is behind those hills. Radford is over there at the bend of the river. I'm sure Taylor will be waiting in one of those towns. Him make trouble. He'll make trouble for himself. Tonto, you ride into Radford. Pick up some supplies and see what you can learn. Me go, Kimisab. Be careful, Tonto. Sure, Miss Pete. You've had time enough to forget, Pete. You going soft, Hammer? You know I wouldn't go soft, Trigger. Don't call me Trigger. The name's Blair, Calvin Blair. I'm a respectable banker, a businessman in this thriving community of Radford. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Blair. Now, you and Sagebrush stop this whining about Pete. He was a fool. He underrated the masked man. What do we do? Well, I've been waiting for this. Now that it's here, I'm ready to get started. Tell me, wait a minute. What does this look like? The mash man. And the white horse, I told you to round up and keep ready. He rides a white horse. Only thing, I don't like your hanging around. Don't worry, we'll keep out of the way. I'm plumb lost, boss. What's all this rig for? We're going to let the law square things with the mash man for us. Well, I'll be a splayed foot cayuse. Mr. Blair, you're going to... I thought you'd guess what was up, Hammer. Now, you're about the same size as a Lone Ranger. In this outfit, you look just like him. You're going to go out this afternoon, and you're going to stick up the bank. Your bank? Precisely. Well, what's so smart about that? We're just taking our own money. If you listen and talk less, you might learn something, you idiot. Wherever he is, the Lone Ranger will hear about the holdup, and he'll ride into town to investigate. When he shows up, he'll be welcomed by six guns. It'll be the law that shoots him. Oh, if Pete only could hear about this, he'd sure be happy. Well, maybe the Lone Ranger can tell them all about it when they meet up in the next few days. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. Wait a minute. There's a cash shipment coming into the bank this afternoon. There you are, Mr. Blair. Just sign her in. She's all yours. Glad to see you, Willie. Have a good trip this time? Sure did. Reach. Quick, put up your hands. A masked man. Hand me that cash. Not on your life. How about yours? You'll never get away with this. Let's follow him. Don't go out there, you fool. Come on, Silver! If you want to get shot, go around the back way and get the sheriff. I'll see to Willie here. All right, Mr. Blair. Savvy, trouble in Radford. Man hold up bank, a shoot express agent. Him wear mask and white hat and ride white horse. White hat on a white horse? Me think outlaw try to look like Lone Ranger. Sounds like a trick Taylor would pull. Him plenty clever, all right. Yes. He knows if he can make people distrust law and order, the whole West will be opened up for him and gangs like his. Me go back to Radford, keep eye on Sheriff. Him know if something happened. Good. Don't let yourself be known. 
I'll meet you tonight by that grove of trees outside of town. Amigo. Oh, hello, Cal. Hi, Sheriff. What's the news? Well, uh, there's nothing good, Cal. I can't figure it. That hold-up man just disappeared into thin air. Well, I told you what to look for. He wore a mask, wore a white hat, rode a white horse by the name of Silver. Well, that didn't help any, Cal. The Tarnation Sheriff, that man got away with $10,000 that was coming to my bank. He got it before you signed it in, didn't he, Cal? The express company takes the loss. I took the loss the last time the outlaws got the payroll I was sending to Rimrock. That fellow must be a member of the same gang, Sheriff. Yeah. Well, maybe so. Cal, how could anyone learn about these cash shipments? Well, the cashier and myself are the only ones that know of them. All right, what about young Ames? He could pass the word when cash was moving in or out. Oh, not Bill. Of course. Of course what? Then you do suspect Ames. No, I didn't say that, Sheriff. Just because Bill knew of the shipments doesn't mean that he's guilty. Nice of you to stick up for Bill, Cal. Still and all, maybe I ought to ask him a few questions, huh? Well, if you insist, he's going to the Mistral Show tonight. I can get him over here right afterwards. That's good enough. All right. See you here later tonight? Mm-hmm. Show was a big crowd at the Minstrel Show. A man could get himself jostled to death. That bandit himself could have been there, and we wouldn't have recognized him without his mask. Unless, of course, a fellow happened to be acquainted with him. Uh, Sheriff, I was telling Bill here that you want to ask us a few questions about the holdup. Yeah. There, uh... There wasn't anything about that outlaw you recognized, was there, Bill? No, I... I'd never seen him before. How do you know if he was wearing a mask? What I mean is, he wasn't familiar. Mm-hmm. Didn't recognize his voice, huh? No, I don't know him. You and Cal are the only ones that knew that shipment was coming in. Don't mind if I search you, do you, Bill? You don't. Well, looks like a letter you forgot to mail. I didn't have any letter. Where'd that come from, anyway? You didn't have a letter, huh? Didn't have a letter with a lot of bills in it. I don't get this. I there didn't... are new bills, too. Uh, maybe they come from the bank, Bill. You forgot to put them in the vault? I didn't have that envelope when I left the bank. This looks real bad for you, Bill. This could be your cut of the hull. Well, that's impossible, Sheriff. You did know about the cash shipment, didn't you? Well, so did Mr. Blair. Of course, of course, he wasn't the one. I know I wasn't. There must be a third party. Oh, uh, there was nobody else, Bill. Bill, I'll have to take you in on suspicion. Now, it'll be better for you if you tell the truth. But I have told the truth. Well, I'm as innocent as, as Mr. Blair. Under the circumstances, Bill, I'll uh, have to believe the sheriff is right. But you know I couldn't. Come on, Bill. Come on. Go on in. Me watch sheriff like you say. Hear everything from up his door. If Ames was in on the holdup, he'd been mighty careful to hide the money. That's what me think, Kimasabi. Young fellow act funny when them find envelope, like him never see before. You say Blair met Ames at the minstrel show? That right. And he was jostled around in the crowd? Him say that in sheriff's office. I see. I'm beginning to see a lot of things, Tano. We have to move fast. What we do? I'm going to try to talk with Ames through the cell window. And what me do? Did you find out where Blair lives? At end of Main Street, near edge of town. Tano, I don't trust Blair. Go to his house, see what you can find out. Then meet me behind the jail. It's working out just right, just right. How did I do? Wasn't I good? Didn't I look just like the Lone Ranger? You did fine, Hammer, fine. You're a great actor. You should be in the minstrel show. When do we divvy up the loot, Trey? Uh, Mr. Blair? I'm taking it back to the bank where it'll be safe. We'll divide it later, after the Lone Ranger has finished off. Here at the window. That man. 
mask. I've seen it before. You were the one at the bank. Be quiet. Keep your voice down. I'm here to help you. You helped me already. You helped me into this cell. If I were the outlaw who held you up today, would I be here now? Then what's the mask for? The mask isn't important, but my voice is. Do I sound like the man you heard at the bank today? No. No, you don't. You're in a bad spot, Bill. You can't lose anything by trusting me. What do you want? I want to help you. Do you remember getting very close to anyone at the minstrel show? Close enough to slip money into your pocket? No, I don't think so. I, I was sitting on the end seat when Mr. Blair joined me. What about when you went through the crowd? We missed the crowd because we sat near the side door. We went in and out that way. Look, mister, I don't know what this is all about, but I've been framed. If it was you... I believe you have been framed, Bill. But you'll find out I wasn't the one who did it. And then how did it happen? I think I know, but I must have evidence. Just answer a few more questions. Hank, I want you to stay here and keep a sharp lookout. If you see anything that looks suspicious, sound the alarm. You looking for something to happen, Sheriff? I don't know, but if Ames is in with that gang, they may try to break him out of that cell back there. Yeah. They'll be afraid and we'll get him to talk. Everybody in town knows Ames is here in jail, so it won't be any secret to the outlaws. Well, let them come. We'll be ready. Jim and me will watch around back for a while. Now remember, at the first sign of a break, you start shooting. Don't get discouraged, Bill. I'll get you out of this. I don't know what to think. Reach, mister. There's two six guns on you. Well, don't be so shy, mister. Turn around. Let's get a look at you. But do it real careful. Make a false move and you get a bullet. He's masked. Yeah. That cinches it. He's a member of the gang, all right. And he was fixing to break Ames out. I see you find it very easy to convince yourself, Sheriff. Oh, no. You convinced me, mister. Now I'm going to take you inside and let you and Ames convince me some more. Reckon there's a lot you can tell me. You have the wrong man. Get those hands up, mister. I warned you about a false move. Why, don't look like he's worried at all. I'm not. You both drop guns, quick. You'd better do as he says, Sheriff. All right, Jim, they got us dead to rights. Drop your gun. I'll have to ask you to face the wall. And pick up your guns after we leave. What are you gonna do, mister? I'll be back again later to do a little more convincing. Come on, Hammer, play cards. All right, but first let me show you how I did it. Oh, you're taking a chance. Somebody might come by. The boss said to be careful. Nobody suspect the bank of robbing his own bank. I come in, see, and I say, reach. Just like I'm the Lone Ranger. And then you should have seen the looks on their faces. And then I says to the agent, hand me that cash. And he says, not on your life. Then I says to him, how about on yours? You get it? How about on yours? Why don't you go on the stage? And then I say, drop your guns. You. Now take off that mask. That was quite a performance, my friend. But you've talked yourself right into a hangman's noose. You can't prove nothing. No? Tana, you saw Blair take the money bag out with him? Yes, Kimasami. Him say, take it to bank to keep safe. We'll have to get him to bring the money here. How we do that? Keep your hands up. Up high. Tano, you heard these men ask Blair to divide the loot? This man, him named Sagebush. Me hear him ask for a share of money. Very well, Sagebush. You're going to repeat the request with emphasis. What do you mean? You're going to write a little note to your boss. Trigger Taylor, alias Calvin Blair. Oh, no, you don't. Don't write anything, Sage. Right. I ain't gonna die for Blair. What do you want me to write? Make it short and simple. Say, I want my cut tonight. Bring the money to the stable, or something might happen. We'll tie them up hand and foot. Turn around. Sheriff. 
Hi, Cal. Come on in. Saw the light on, thought I'd give you the news. Caught a masked man talking to Ames behind the jail. A masked man in town? Yep, same one that pulled the hold up, I reckon. I don't know what you're so surprised about, Cal. Oh, well, it's just that I didn't think he'd have the nerve to stay around town after pulling the hold up. Did you get him? No, an engine helped him get away. We'll have to wait for daylight to track him down. Uh, then you figure they're still in town. Huh? Wherever they are, they won't come messing around the jail again. They know we'll be on the lookout. Well, I better get back to my prisoner. Just wanted to make sure you'd be on your guard against those other two hombres. Let them not get loose now, Kimasabi. We take guns anyway, hide them outside. Good. When you find Blair, give him this note. You stay here, Kimasabi? No, we'll meet here later. When Blair starts down here, report to me at the sheriff's office. Me do. Who's that? What do you want, Engine? Feller from stable at end of street. Him say bring note to you. All right, let's see it. Him say come to bank and give me silver dollar. Me bring note. I see. Did you read the note? Note not in Indian writing. Read only Indian sign writing, huh? This fellow that give you the note, what did he look like? Him thin feller. Oh, thin feller, huh? Sounds like Sage, all right. Let uh, me go now. Oh, just a minute. I have a little reward here for you. All right, now up with him. Come on. Maybe you're all right, Injun, maybe you're not. You could be a friend of a certain party I'm going to find out. All right, let me warn you now. Don't try anything foolish. I'm a dead shot. Come on, I'll put your knife up here on the counter. Come on. Now, let's go down to that stable and have a little look. Go ahead. Come on. Hey, but what in blazes? Now, who? I did. You're covered, Sheriff. Oh, you? Yes, I'm back again. But this time, I'm going to finally convince you that Ames is not the guilty party. You came back to get Ames out of jail. I could have done that if I wanted to. I don't know what you're up to, mister. Yes, I do want Ames out of jail. But not before I've proved he's innocent. You don't look so innocent yourself with that mask on. We don't have time to worry about that now. You'll get an explanation later. Well, what are you going to do, mister? I want you to bring Ames out of his cell. Bring him in here. So you are going to try to spring him? No, but I want you to hear some of his story. And I'll tell you the rest. I still don't know what you're up to, mister. I'm afraid you have no choice, Sheriff. Yeah. All right, I'll bring Ames out. Sheriff. Better put your gun on the desk. And remember, you're covered, so don't try anything. Hey, you in there? You mess man? I got your engine friend out here. I got a gun on him, and you better come out with your hands up or something unpleasant is gonna happen to your engine. Do you hear me in there? Well, you'll hear my gun in a minute. If you care anything about your friend here, you better come out. All right. All right, I'm coming in. But if anything goes wrong, your friend is a dead agent. All right, now, go ahead. Go on. So, you are with that masked man. Well, you'll pay for this. You and the masked man both. Now, go on, get over there. Oh, I don't know. I... You mean to tell me Calvin Blair planted that money on you? I don't know, Sheriff. I don't know who else could have done it. Well, I don't believe it, mister. You'll have to have more proof than this. I think it's all a trick you're up to. I aim to produce more proof, Sheriff. Full proof. My Indian friend should have reported to me by now about that. He may be in trouble, so we'd better get going. We? Oui. I suppose you're gonna spring Ames out of here. I said I wouldn't try to release Ames until I could prove he was innocent. I meant it. After you lock him up, you can untie your deputy. Then come down to the stable at Blair's home. That where you're gone? That's right. Well, mister, wherever you go, I go. One way or another, I aim to find out what you're up to. All right, Sheriff, I'll meet you at the stable. Come on, Bill, I gotta lock you up first. 
You bumbling idiots. How did you let that masked man get the drop on you? We didn't know he was in town. You don't know anything. That's your trouble. Do you want to wind up like Pete Carson? I told you not to underestimate that masked man. Well, how did he get here so fast? You said it'd take a couple of days. Oh, the note writer has got something to say, eh? Well, somebody underestimated the Lone Ranger. It wasn't Hammer on me. You sniveling sneak, why don't you put it in writing like you did that note? He had a gun on me. I had to write it. I've got a gun on you, and I've half a mind to use it. Not now, you won't. You're in trouble. You need us. Besides, maybe that note wasn't such a bad idea. Maybe we better just divvy up the loot and call it quits. Uh, perhaps you're right. Maybe we should divide the money and go our separate ways. But none of us will be safe while that Lone Ranger is loose. We've got to take care of him first. He said he'd meet the Indian here. Well, the Indian's waiting, and so are we. He's our insurance. Now, Hammer, you wait by the door. Sagebrush, make sure he's secure. We've got no guns, boss. The Indian took them. Well, one gun is enough, Hammer, for the job that needs to be done. Shh. Somebody's coming. Come in. You might as well come in. We got your engine friend in here. Speak, say something. Kimisami, you not come in. If you value your friend's life, you better come in. Without your guns and with your hands up. So, we meet again. Face to face this time. You won't get away this time, Taylor. The sheriff is on his way here now. Oh, oh the sheriff. Well, if he is, he's looking for you. But I'm going to save him the trouble. He'll find you dead when he gets here. That'll take care of you, Indian. Come on, Trigger. Let's get it over with. Oh, he's impatient, ain't you, Sagebush? But this is a moment that shouldn't be rushed. After all, the death of the Lone Ranger. Tell me, how does it feel? How did Pete Carson feel? You ought to know. You're in the same spot he was with a minute to live. Nothing to say, mass man? I told you, you won't get away with it, Taylor. Good work, Tato. Reach for the ceiling, all of you. Now, what's going on here? You've been looking for Trigger Taylor for a long time, Sheriff. Well, there he is. Calvin Blair? That's right. I think this money bag and that hat and mask will explain a lot. That's no proof. No, but I think your men will give us all the proof we need. Hank, take care of these men. Well, you sure were right about Blair's men. When they found out that they might have to pay for his crimes, they squealed their heads off. Then, Blair confessed. I sure am grateful to you, mister. I reckon we all are. Now that Blair and his men are in jail, this will be a law-abiding town again. I certainly hope it stays that way. Come on, Tuttle. Adios. Hey, wait a minute, mister. He didn't tell me his name. I reckon you won't forget it once you hear it, Bill. He's the Lone Ranger. Be with the Lone Ranger and Tonto same time next week for new dangers in another thrill-packed adventure. The Lone Ranger rides again.